the Seattle Symphony, we want to create a culture that reflects our values and to reflect the energy and spirit of innovation of our city. Converting what used to be Soundbridge Seattle Symphony Music Discovery Center into Octave 9 Raysbeck Music Center was a special kind of challenge for our partners. Not only is the space itself quite small, it's on the corner of a busy downtown intersection and had very low ceilings, which had to house all the technology that powers the space, like projectors, speakers, and microphones. The Seattle Symphony has had a relationship with Element Architects since the late 80s, when they were brought on to design Benaroya Hall, which opened in 1998. Then, like now, we were asking the question, what is the future of the Seattle Symphony and how can we create a venue that supports artists and our community? The whole intention was to find a way for everybody in the community to have a reason to come to Benaroya Hall for some kind of musical experience. And that kind of attitude about the symphony's uh, service to the music culture of our community has continued. And that really is then the basis for Octave 9. So Octave 9, where we are right now, uh, is an amazing space. It's just a fantastic space to come into. Uh, the architecture is gorgeous. It's a very small space. It's very intimate. And uh, of course, you know, the, the desire for the symphony is to create a multifunction space. So we work very closely with the architects, LMN, as well as Jaffe Holden for the acoustics. And so in this space, we have 62 full range loudspeakers. We have 10 subwoofers and 28 microphones. Uh, in addition to a large amount of digital processing. You know, our, our contribution of the visual engine um, is only just one part of what happens when combining, um, you know, the uh, very special sound system with a very unique um, architectural environment. Um, all those things collectively um, feel like the experience. Um, the collective experience is the one that, that the audience actually has. They don't perceive one element necessarily by themselves, they, they have complete experience and so that's why it's important um, for us to really closely collaborate, to care about each other's work through the process and because of that um, we're able to actually truly have an impact on the, on the actual audience's collective experience. So LMN has taken and invested over the past 10 years very heavily in figuring out ways that technology can take and improve the way in which we work. And part of that investment has been uh, having a research and development group here within the office that is exploring these new technologies. One of those technologies that we have been playing around with for, I would say, the past five years getting experience with is the use of digital fabrication. So when we were working through the design of the ceiling for Octave 9, we were in a situation where we realized this is actually within the realm of something that we could make. And so it wasn't completely out of necessity that we decided to do it, but more opportunity and exploration for ourselves of what does it mean to take a step in this direction, to do this type of work, similar to the symphony saying, what does it mean to have a space like Octave 9 to explore new potentials for performance? Uh, what's interesting is that the visuals are a huge part of it, but they also have to be secondary to the music. This idea of uh, something that reacts to music and really uh, meant to be art, an artful expression of music. So, uh, and I think a lot of people in the studio feel that way, that this is like once in a lifetime kind of project. And I think what has become my favorite uh, analogy for what's happening there is we actually created an instrument instead of creating a room. And that instrument is actually going to take the symphony time to learn how to play. It, it's one of those rare spaces where you need to actually have all elements engaged before you really understand what that space is about. It's not enough to just walk in there or see a picture of it. This is creating something new uh, as part of the symphony's vision. So that was really inspiring and an opportunity for us to really be connected to the symphony as an institution and their mission. Uh, in a way that we, we, we're really committed to the symphony, we believe in what they do for the community, and to be a part of helping them continuously expand their capacity to realize that mission has been really inspiring for us. We're incredibly proud to have this new venue at Benaroya Hall, and it's a venue unlike any other in the world, where we are powered by this amazing technology and these different kinds of room configurations that we can create that allow us to support 
experiences for all different kinds of audiences, all different kinds of performances and creative activities. And what's even more exciting is that the possibilities that can happen in this room are infinite.